Too busy, afraid to fuck things up? Questioning why you even bother? I feel that way too. Here are four things holding you back from creating and how to solve them. And if you're looking to improve your miniature painting and have fun while doing it, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you can keep up as well as that bell notification so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials, guides, and more. Let's get into it. The Gap. One of the projects I've been too afraid to attempt is a diorama base. I have this idea in my head, a multi-tiered base with vine-covered ruins and a tree rising up in the background. But whenever I try to make more than just a table-ready base, I'm never able to translate what I have in my head into reality. When we begin learning a new skill, we get exposed to a lot of great work. Craftwork Studios, Calvo Studio Rubio, I'm sure you have your own. The thing is that our tastes and opinions develop a lot faster than our skills. This state of being is called the gap. This translates into us having high expectations without the skills to back them up. This fear of being unable to achieve what we see in our minds can hold us back. What's the point in trying if you can't make what you see a reality? Ah, uh, that's where my mic is balancing. The solution. Stop comparing yourself to others and just do it. You will never gain the skills you need to close the gap if you don't actively work to get better. I have tried to build a tiered base like this out of bark several times, and I have to say that every time I do it, I am getting better. While social media is a great way to get inspired, don't let it hold you back. That person you are comparing yourself to might have years of experience or hours of free time. Instead, compare yourself to what you accomplished last year or last time you attempted the skill. You are improving, you just have to pay attention. Perfectionism. I am a perfectionist, which greatly clashes with basing and terrain. Nature isn't perfect, in fact, it's a bit of a mess. And being able to create the perfect mess is something I have a very difficult time with. Do I have the skills to pull this off? Will I be able to do this project justice? What if I realize halfway through that this base isn't good enough for a commission? Perfection is often a sign of insecurity, which can lock us in fear before we even begin working. Solution. The solution is simple, but difficult. Practice letting go. What is the worst that can happen if your project isn't perfect? One of the greatest things about this hobby is that it's just paint. If you have to strip and start again, you can. I ripped off plants after gluing them down, painted over these stones several times, and it still isn't perfect. And that is okay. I look at stripping or unassembling a project as a fresh start. And if you're doing this for the second or maybe even third time, it's sure to be better this time around. Procrastination. Procrastination is very common in the hobby and in everyday life. Reasons like, I don't have time, I don't have the right supplies, or I'll wait until I'm more skilled, may not be legitimate reasons, but actually excuses to avoid painting. When you have these moments, dig a little deeper. Do you really not have time? Are the supplies you have really not good enough to work? How are you going to get better if you don't actually paint? Procrastination is another symptom of fear. Solution. Take some time and consider what it is that causes your fear. Are you afraid of others' opinions? Or maybe afraid of failing? Question where these fears came from and how legitimate they are. Understanding what you are afraid of will help you overcome procrastination. The Plateau. The feeling of stagnation happens to all of us, no matter our skill level. We like to think that progress is a continuous line. Once we start getting better, we hope our skills will continue to improve. Unfortunately, that isn't how it works. Sure, I have improved quite a bit on my bases, and I even continue to improve while I work on this project but now I'm feeling a bit lost. Sometimes skill progression is more like a set of stairs where we improve and then stand still. I'm in a plateau right now. Solution. Know that your next step could come at any moment. Consider what happened the last time you felt like this. 
What was your last step? Maybe it was understanding layering or the one I'm learning right now. The key to miniature bases is variety and texture. Keep a mini or two from your previous plateau so you have something to compare yourself to as you progress. I hope this video makes you feel more confident going forward painting your miniatures. If you like what I do, like, comment, subscribe, support me over on Patreon. You know the drill. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.